Welcome YouTube and welcome to Corbett S Garage. Uh, in this episode we got a few uh, 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 parts that I need to put on but I'm going to go ahead and fill the radiator, uh, belt on, uh, power steering fluid, uh, and we are going to get ready to fire this thing up. So uh, just hang tight and we'll get back to you right after this message. Is everything going to go back on? Am I going to have one, you know, am I going to know where all the plugs go, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, for, for the most part, yeah. Uh, you know, it's still, still a scary feeling. Anyway, uh, I don't think the plug has anything to do with the uh, uh, engine or electronics of the engine, but I'll find out where that plug goes. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Uh, anyway, the radiator's in, got the fan back in, uh, so now it's time to go ahead and fill up uh, uh, or finish uh, putting the holes on, uh, radiator holes on the top in there, fill up my uh, reservoir, uh, it's power steering reservoir, because it leaked all out, and fill the radiator up with antifreeze. So, really looking forward to starting this, this, this uh, car up. Before we get started. Does anyone want to get out? So basically what, you're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up, make sure that I have no leaks, uh, you know, and then uh, I'm going to have to adjust the fuel pressure regulator uh, because I ended up buying a new uh, uh, a screw for that regulator. I got it as close as I can get it, but I know I'm going to have to adjust the pressure. So other than that, it's just uh, adjusting the pressure, checking for leaks, and uh, making sure that it runs fine. Uh, other than that, uh, let me go ahead and put everything back on, and we will go ahead and fire this thing up. Okay, before we uh, move on to the first fire up here, uh, kind of uh, give you a, a picture of everything all completed. I, I really hate the uh, alternator and smog pump now. They're just not the right color anymore. But uh, as you see, everything's all installed. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. And uh, I can't ask for anything better. I mean, uh, it's not done yet. But uh, with the supercharger, it's going to, once all that stuff's on there, everything's going to look like it was meant to be. All right, let's go on with the first start up here. I'm sorry. Was that your auntie? Well, as you can see, that didn't go very good. From what I gathered, it smelled like a fuel issue, and it sounded like a uh, vacuum uh, leak. Uh, right now, I'm working on the adjustable fuel pressure regulator. It's uh, not a stock one. It's a BBK. And I'm uh, backing off on the uh, adjustment screw uh, to uh, decrease the fuel pressure. And the only reason I'm doing it this way is because uh, I, I uh, replaced the screw on the uh, fuel pressure regulator to a shorter screw because it's real tight to work in there. So I'm pretty much uh, trying to do this on the fly. 
Uh, I'm trying to get it close enough to uh, get the car to at least start. Well, initially, I thought I did do that. Yeah, let's try that. See if that helps. Okay, round two. Um, I, I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm realizing that uh, yeah, we got something else going on. So. I mean, I did the best I could to readjust the uh, fuel pressure regulator and without the uh, uh, fuel pressure gauge. Uh, not that it's an art to try to get it right. So I knew I was close. But anyway, I mean, I kept trying and trying. And, and uh, at one point, I lost fuel altogether. So uh, I knew definitely something was uh, not right. So now I got two issues to deal with. So. I had to go off camera and uh, and go through the process of elimination, which actually didn't take me that long. It only took me about 30 minutes. This has cost you strength. Victory has defeated you. So, we had a couple issues going on with it. That's why I didn't want to stay running. Uh, one of them was uh, the fuel pressure regulator. The vacuum line that goes into the fuel pressure regulator, the brass fitting had popped off. Go figure. And then I blew a fuse for the fuel, fuel pump. Uh, so I, tracking down those two issues, uh, I pretty much took care of it. Right now it's sitting at uh, 40 PSI's. Uh, as far as fuel, I can't really adjust it until I get that uh, fuel pressure regulator off. So because uh, it's in the way of adjustment, but she fires up. Congratulations, Reg. It's a squid. So at this point, uh, she's running good. So now I'm just going to do my uh, basic checks uh, to make sure I'm not leaking anything. And I'll check the valve covers for leaks, uh, water pump, uh, front main seal uh, for leaks. Uh, just a basic check. Uh, so far, so good. You know, when you when you try to track down issues like this, I mean, I, I knew it was a fuel issue, and I knew it was a uh, vacuum issue. As far as, as what I found out, I mean, when you're looking to uh, to diagnose something like this, you're looking for everything: vacuum hoses. Uh, Fuel injectors, uh, pulling your spark plugs out, uh, checking the spark plugs, uh, you know, a a anything and everything. Especially when you uh, put things back together. Things can happen. In this case, uh, even though I uh, adjusted the fuel pressure regulator close enough, uh, as far as the no fuel issue, it turned out to be a blown fuse for the uh, fuel pump. Now the uh, uh, fuel pressure regulator, the brass fitting had popped off. Uh, and then I did also find a, another hose that wasn't connected, uh, so there was my vacuum leak there. So right now it's at uh, 40 psi, and it seems to be running pretty good at that pressure. Probably because uh, I have colder plugs in there. Uh, I need to run the colder plugs for the uh, uh, supercharger. So it makes sense that uh, the additional fuel uh, and the colder plugs, it's running pretty good. That's it for now. So, let me take it all apart again, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, fuel pressure regulator. Um, uh, General Motors didn't come stock with an adjustable fuel pressure regulator, so uh, the screw that you're about to see was a little bit too long originally, and I ended up having to get a shorter screw. This adjustment here uh, will rise or lower your fuel pressure. Um, now the piece that broke off, as you see right here on the left-hand side of the uh, fuel pressure regulator, uh, the brass fitting piece broke off, so once I uh, fixed that issue, readjusted the fuel pressure, uh, I was good to go. Well, there you go there. That was easy. God damn it, Smith! And before I wrap this up, uh, for those of you that don't know what a fuel pressure uh, gauge is, uh, let me cover it and its purpose here real quick. 
That's just a uh, deal right here. This is my boomstick. Um, it has a, this one uh, is from zero psi all the way up to 100 psi, and basically um, this this end here connects to the Schrader valve on the uh, fuel rail, um, and then uh, you fire the uh, the uh, motor up and it will measure your fuel pressure okay now this one I used to have at uh, 38 uh, psi that's where it seemed to run the best uh, but I have the uh, newer um, uh, spark plugs in here so it's running really good at 40 psi so I think stock is about 36 so that's what this thing is for it's real simple and it's really handy to have uh, you know check your fuel pressure and whatnot uh, there it is there guys um, at this point we're going to start stripping her back down we'll tear your soul apart uh, oh, again uh, but we won't have to go that extensive uh, so um, I, 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 you know the spot pump alternator power steering uh, I need to customize the uh, uh, the bracket so uh, it won't interfere with the supercharger so we're talking we're next next episode is specifically going to be on installing the supercharger so um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to support the channel uh, there's uh, don't forget to hit that bell if you want to see more videos come out it will alert you and like the video if you like and feel free to comment until then, this wraps up this episode. I'm pretty stoked because now I can move on to actually putting the uh, supercharger on. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And take care. Where we're going, we don't need roads.